This video demonstration is going to discuss the types of memory. If you remember from our lecture, we discussed uh, we have two basic types. So we've got your ROM memory and we've got your RAM memory. And your ROM stands for read-only memory. And this is a type of memory you cannot write to. Then you've got your RAM memory, and that stands for random access memory. This is your primary working type of memory for the computer. So your ROM stores information uh, related to programs and software instructions and performs major input and output tasks. And then your RAM... It basically stores the data and machine code that's used to support the input and output task. The purpose of your memory is to provide adequate resources to perform tasks. And most of the time you're going to have sufficient memory. I'm going to show you both of these types of memory on a motherboard video demonstration. In your line of work, you're going to be responsible for installing and upgrading memory. So there will be a number of issues that you'll see related to memory upgrades and requirements for capability. And we'll show you those throughout the uh, chapter discussions. Your memory modules are stored in single and double-sided memory, which are shown over to your right here. Single memory is treated as a single bank of memory, and it's accessed by the system immediately. And then double-sided memory is divided into two chunks of memory where the system can only access one memory bank at a time. And they look like this module here. So you've got your individual chips contained on a memory module. It looks like this, and it's inserted or attached to the motherboard, uh, as you see here. Remember, there are four different types of RAM memory. We had DRAM, SRAM, CMOS RAM, and the VRAM. So I wanted to show you how to look at the RAM settings for a computer now. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to the startup menu, and I'm going to type in RAM. This will tell you to view your RAM settings. This shows you the specific information about your device. So I can see uh, my product here has 8 gigabyte of RAM, and 7.87 of those can act is disk space that can actually is usable. So in our video demonstration for the BIOS and the CMOS, I'm going to show you information about these. The Windows Memory Diagnostic app, that can help you diagnose any type of memory problems. I'm going to type in memory here, and it'll take me to the Windows Memory Diagnostic app. I'll click on this. And it'll either let me check on it later after I restart my computer, or I can restart now and check for problems. So I'm not going to click on this now. It really takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. But I will show you the end result or kind of what it looks like as you're going through it. Uh, this is actually out of the BIOS. So it'll show you that you've got a number of tests. It's doing two tests, and it shows about an 89% completion rate. Uh, my overall test was at 94%. Uh, so no problems were detected while I was running this specific test. And you can do that. You can run that on your computer at any point in time and have the availability to look and see your RAM settings, but then also do a test on your memory. 